Hi and welcome to Drummer's Review. I'm Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at a special edition Gretsch Renown 57 Bop Kit. It was back in 2019 that we last looked at a Gretsch Renown kit and we were impressed with the quality of the kit and the sound that it produced. The Renown 57 kit was originally introduced in 2011 and became a buyer's favourite. Gretsch then reintroduced the kit in 2021 for a limited run, available in two contrasting setups. The kit we have here today comprises of an 18 by 14 inch bass drum, 12 by 8 inch rack tom and a 14 by 14 inch floor tom, all constructed from seven plies of maple in a silver oyster pearl nitron finish. The toms feature Gretsch's double flange 302 hoops. These are the middle ground between die cast and regular triple flanged hoops that most people are familiar with. They are flanged on the bottom but not on the top to add to that vintage tone and look. Each of the drums sports cigar shaped lugs with the rack tom further furnished with a sturdy mounting bracket. Also included is an all-in-one tom arm and clamp and the floor tom having thicker than expected solid legs with memory locks. Finally, the undrilled virgin bass drum features telescopic spurs along with a bass drum riser to allow you to use your pedal of choice while raising the drum sufficiently off the ground to ensure your beater hits the drum centrally. It sports gleaming white wood hoops with a strip of matching inlay and retro style claw hooks. The shell pack has a recommended retail price of £1,433, but before we go any further, let's hand them over to Nick and take a closer listen. Our first impression is the kit looks fantastic with its cool classic car aesthetic look. The vintage two-tone split chevron design is a striking finish and really classy and creates a lovely first impression. In terms of build quality, this kit is really well made. Tuning the drums was a breeze, all of the shells are perfectly round, while the 30 degree bearing edges are completely level and smooth to the touch. Gretsch's silver seal on the inside of the drums is reassuringly familiar, while the logo on the white portion of the drum aids the classic finish. Elsewhere, all of the shell hardware is solid and perfectly functional. Heads-wise, the kit features Remo-made heads throughout, with Remo clear emperors over Gretsch permatone single ply heads on the toms, while the bass drum sports a Remo clear power stroke 3 and an unported white coasted rezzo head with an inlay ring. The rack tom offers many of the characteristics you would associate with an all maple drum, 
Musical, warm, clear and precise notes with a clean and controlled sustain, which are no doubt aided by the use of the 302 hoops. The floor tom was a particular favourite, with it sounding much fuller and fatter than we were expecting. It has a clear fundamental tone and a very clean sustain and added punch and articulation. Finally, the bass drum gives a beefy, warm, full tone that's deep, throaty when tuned low, but when tuned up, gives a colourful, musical tone with controlled sustain. The choice of twin ply heads may not be suited to all jazz or bop drumming, which is where we can see this kit being primarily aimed at, but it's certainly recorded well here in the studio. Overall, these drums work really well harmonically and give a great tone and punchy attack. Given its diminutive stature, and as the name suggests, this kit would certainly be most at home in most jazz situations, or where compactness is a factor. Acoustic settings, rehearsals and smaller stages immediately spring to mind. That said, when tuned low, this kit really packs a punch for blues and some classic rock and roll. With the three-piece shell pack having a suggested retail price of £1,433, this is definitely one of the more expensive bop kits we have looked at. Granted, it may not be suitable for all situations, which may rule it out as many players' main kit, but for anyone looking for an exceptional quality and portable option for when the need arises, this kit would be a strong choice. But why not let us know what you think Leave us a comment below, subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of future content, and we'll see you next time here at Drummer's Review.